Hi guys, Glenfield Model 60 by the Marlin Company. This is the same as the uh, as the Marlin Model 60. Anyway, what this gun's doing is it's been around a long time. It's been varnished and looks like somebody's painted this and there's some patina on you. But the owner doesn't want anything uh, done to it cosmetically. What this gun's doing is when uh, when you shoot it 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 doesn't eject all the way so in some cases it, it kind of blows back and then shuts on on a uh, you know on the empty case without ejecting it on other times it will come back and uh, the empty case will be stuck on the breech face and it will be trying to push that empty case back into the chamber as well as a fresh round the other thing I've seen was that on the last round, the very last round in the mag tube, when that comes up, it doesn't get it get it back all the way. And if I pull the mag tube out, I'm not sure, but this looks like a Heath Robertson fix. As far as I can remember, this has got a, a much longer red piece, and it flares out. It flares out at the back, at the front here. This looks like this is broken at some point, and I um, think this looks like a, a click ballpoint pen, uh, the back end of a, of a refill that's been stuck on there, and I think that's too short, and that's why that's not happening. I, I'll uh, I'll read up on it and uh, and see. Okay, you got it apart. It's very gummed up. It's got gunge in there from a long, long time ago. And the trigger, the whole, well, this is not really the trigger group, the op operating group. The buffer is in one piece. These normally break. This is a very old gun. It still screws together, where the later ones has just got a, a lip that catches and then a plastic pin. All of it's just really gummed up. The one thing I think is that it's got dual extractors. And this one has got a softer spring, and it's supposed to have a softer spring because it's supposed to let go so that the, the round can kick out. But this one is essentially frozen. So I don't think it's let, letting go of the round. That's why it's not uh, ejecting, but very badly gunged up, slowing the whole action down. Also, the recoil spring is completely dry, and you can just see the shiny bits. That's just friction. Um, on the inside of the uh, of the bolt, I'm gonna put this all in the Sonic and run it again. Not sure what's going on there on the on the trigger guard assembly, or this is the trigger assembly that goes in the bottom. Uh, looks like somebody's been using a too big a screwdriver, uh, or maybe been pounding it in there. And I've seen a lot of these broken there because the guys don't take that screw out and then wiggle the stock out and it comes in on that screw and then the other screw on the uh, on the stock. Over there. there. Goes in there and that screw goes through there into the actual action. The guys think it only holds the trigger guard. They take that screw out and then break this... Uh, back end of the uh, trigger got off. Okay, got the issue of the Marlin. This feed block where the cartridge has come in. The back end of it's broken off over there. So this spring, this is also, this end of the spring is the ejector. And it's supposed to sit in that position. And then the bar that goes across from this side to that side kind of keeps it there. And that part of the spring, the other leg, that goes in under the, uh, that goes in under the, like that, under the cartridge lifter. So it actuates the, uh, it pushes up the cartridge, with the fresh cartridge, and yeah, the end of the spring should be sitting over there. Like that. And that is, it's kind of bent in, it needs to be bent out more. 
but that is the ejector so it comes back hits that spring and uh, and kicks the case out but with this that's not there there's nothing to keep that there because that's there's a leg and uh, so that's why it feeds but it does not eject because that is riding below and I have to try and find a new block to replace this with okay got a new block the problem is that they don't make this block anymore and the old block is in two halves and it's held together by the plates this is a beautifully made block but it is it's a one piece and uh, from what I read people do use this one and the newer guns if you look at the shape of that that one's got two it's angled and this one's only got angled on the one side and they are saying that the old guns has got that angled shape in the bolt now this is an old gun but the bolt doesn't have that shape so I don't know if this is the original bolt of this particular gun because in theory it should have an angled surface there which it does not so it looks like this will work and there are other differences too if you look at the bottom they cut out on the new ones bigger there's less meat on the sides than on the uh, on the old one I don't know if the lifter is gonna work we're gonna pull it apart and uh, put it in and see uh, see how it goes okay to get this apart you got to pull out these uh, C clips so you got several C clips um, three there and uh, before you do that you got to just relax as uh, as many springs as possible so let's start off with the hammer spring and I'm just got a, I'm got a piece of old shotgun spring there and just put it through that little hole and then I can trip the C on it and get that to go forward like that so that I've got that captured the elevator spring is already disengaged due to the fact that it's broken and we can push out the c-clips try not to lose them so they can be sneaky Got them out, and I can lift this up and uh, separate the two halves. That'll be an uh, ideal opportunity to give that a good clean. That's the broken piece see where it's broken out over there elevator okay let's see if we can get it together so I got the disconnector spring back in um, that's why I took that big C clip out because that spring was disconnected and the only way to get that back in is to you know get the disconnector in so because it comes in like a funny S so that's in also on the block 
this block the old one's got one pin on that side and two pins on that side so there were two ways for me to, to go about that was to either remove that pin or so I just added a hole over there for the uh, for the second uh, pin on this on this particular block first up I'm gonna get the, the sear In. Got the C in there, it interfaces with a disconnector right there. Got the hammer in, hammer support goes into that little hole. Got the C spring connected. That's in. This is the lifter spring. So that part acts as the ejector. That part lifts the the lifter. So I'm not sure if it's going to work. We'll see. Um, this block, this block is. cut out the, the old ones cut out at the back and the new ones cut out in the front I might need to relieve some material off there but I'm gonna try I'm gonna try first so this is gonna go in as a unit and I'm guessing that that little nub is interfering over there and it might need to come off but I'm, we'll see how it goes in this is a recall buffer that just sits at the back there on there now I should be able to get the other half of this on C clips on now. There you go. So that spring's in place. Just got to hook that spring in. and that spring sitting there serve as the ejector go, hammer cox take out that piece assembled don't know if it's going to feed because I don't know if that lifter drops far enough it looks like it if you look from the front it might need to be relieved slightly at the bottom. If you look at it from there. The lifter had to be modified. Uh, it didn't go down far enough because the feed block was not the same. And I had to relieve some material off the bottom of the uh, of the lifter. So the mag magazine tube definitely has been a repair. Um, that bit should be longer and this looks like a piece out of a, a ballpoint pen anyway I wiggled on it came off and that's part of the feeding problem so the last two rounds don't want to feed and uh, it's gonna need a new mag tube to repair that okay that solves it thanks for watching stay safe we talk again cheers